Sam Darb. Good taste. Cerdydd, heol e flen hynes. A, cerdydd canolog. Mae'r gwasanaeth hwn yn cael ei reddig gan trefnidiaeth Cymru. Well, here I am in Ponte Preed. I haven't been here for oh, 20, 30 years. And I can already see that some buildings that I knew are gone. There used to be a big building right in front of me there. Now, I don't know which way to go, so I'm just following the crowds. So we'll either end up at the Esterwood or we'll end up at the shops. But looks like this is a pedestrianised road now, which is good, because when I was here, the cars would go up and down. Oh, look, that's been here since uh, Job was a lad. The Café Royal, an Italian restaurant. Very busy in there, but maybe on the way back. So they have a... They have a market day here, one day a week. It's very busy, I must say. Nice to see. Now, is this the entrance on the right? That's where everybody's going. Oh, nice to see the weather's come out. Now over there seems to be a lot of food stalls. Should we go and have a look? <laughs> so we look like we've got some stalls here showing the best of Welsh produce. I wonder what's in this big tent. I've never been to this before, so I literally haven't got a clue what's going on. Oh, it's like an, it's like an exhibition. That's a nice. It's a nice outfit for going up the mountain. So it's like artists from all over Wales. Oh, look at these. I quite like these.
like these sort of pictures depicting the valley. by Elwyn Thomas. Look at this one here. The rain. That's every day in Wales. I'm getting details about where the places are though. They used to have a bath in front of the fire in a tin bath. So it got quite hot in there, so I've just come out. And here's a stall here, ceramic stall. Look at these, yeah. I'm attracted by look at that. Beautiful. Have that for the shed. I'm Olwen Thomas, I'm a um, ceramic artist based in West Wales. Um, I've always had an interest in doing ceramics but also other artwork and that as well. Um, and then back in 2008 I decided to do a degree in ceramics. So I did it part-time over six years. So I graduated from College Sirgar in Carmarthen uh, ten years ago now. So I've been doing it sort of seriously um, ever since. Um, I'm just redeveloping my work and it's very much related to my identity uh, being from Wales and <laughs> things that are part of our culture like the Welsh blankets um, and the, the landscape as well with my um, slate work and that as well. So That's what I like about these ones here. Is yes. Because that's the type of blanket that I'm trying to find at the moment. So I do have an online shop, although it's quite sort of limited what's on it, but people can always um, contact me directly. <laughs> Let's have a quick look in this one. Oh, look at that, there's a tea towel with a leak on it. Now, if I didn't have that biscuit tin, I'd get one of these. And look at the cups there. What is this stall about and where are you based in Wales? Well, uh, my name is Cleo James and I'm a hand weaver and these are my products. Where are you based in Wales? In Cardiff. Oh, right, so okay. I've got a studio in Splot yeah. where I hand weave fabric and I can hand weave either bespoke cloth for interior products or scarves by also um, design fabric and then it's produced in a, in a mill in Bristol. It's a nice display. I wonder what these ones are. Oh look there seems to be a garden down here. Let's have a quick look. The Miner's Legacy, it's called, apparently. Oh, look at that. That's a beautiful Acer there on the left. So I don't know where I'm going. We'll just have a little wander and see what we see. Follow the crowd. Ah, this looks like where the main bit is. Oh, giving out free water, that's good. Alright, just have a little walk down here and see what these stalls have to offer. 
Book Council of Wales. Let's have a quick little scoot around. Oh, there's a picture up here of Triolti, which looks familiar to me. Over here, this is on top of the Bull Mountain. So that is Cum Park down there, and Triolti. That's where we go for the, for my food down there. And yes, you can still go up there now and feed the sheep. Now they have these tents called the mice, M-A-S-E, not mice as in the one with four legs, the mice. And they have a big tent where all the competitions are, but around the field they have smaller tents. And in one of the tents, apparently, Kieran is appearing. If you remember, back in February, I featured Kieran, who had written a musical called Turning the Wheel. And apparently, he's in one of these tents. So we'll see if we can find them. This has been well used this week.
With the sun coming out and lots more people here, there's a very strong smell of slurry. It certainly smells like a farm. I feel like I'm on the arches. Right, apparently I need to go down here. is a musical which celebrates the community, camaraderie and culture of the Rhondda Valleys, uh, focusing on our humour and our sense of hiraith. So there's a young character named Thomas Bevan, grows up in the Rhondda in the period of, say, 1890 to 1910, and it follows his kind of life as he grows up in the valleys at those times, and he becomes a miner himself. I don't want to give too much away, but he... Uh, he then goes on to kind of say enough is enough with these working conditions of the miners at the time and kind of lead the miners' revolution.
er mai hawdd yw teimlo an o baith Fe god o nar ein traed Doi sy'n ffordd ac pethau bod yn waith Na fy lad na fi raid Na fi wyrawr I groes fi ffyrdd el un Ar os mae rheiniant fi Fe welwch chi So all this bit is brand new to me. There used to be a massive shopping arcade on the left. But now they've given it a good scrub up. So we'll just walk back down the street now, maybe to try and find some food. This is the first time they've held their servant in a residential area. Usually it's held in a field. So hopefully some of the people will spill out and come and visit the shops as well. <laughs> Now the market when I was came here last was always outdoors. I don't think I've ever come here. So let's have a little wander around. Yeah. Yes, I am. Yeah. There's your fruit and veg. Ah, paintings. Yeah. 
seems to be mostly food. Oh, it's nice and cool in here because outside it's gone, getting rather hot. Look at this old sweet shop here. Ah, maybe I'll stop here for food. That's an attractive shop, isn't it? Lovely smell of food around here. Yeah. Oh, look, there's a cafe here as well. Alright, just pop back outside and see if Princess restaurant is still around. It was always a tradition when you came to Pont Breathe that you stopped off for your lunch in a place called Princess. But they tell me that there's a queue outside, so we'll go over and see. See if I can get in or not. That's an old building there. Wonder how long that's been there. I'm gonna have to do a bit of investigating but before I come back. I used to work for a newspaper down there once, up in one of these buildings called the Ron the Leader, back many a year ago. I had to come down every week to hand in my articles back in the early 90s. You'll be in the garden. There's more shops down there. Look at this, you can have a look through the window, see what's occurring on the other side. But all this is new and it's quite nice. Sit there, feel the breeze through your hair. Right, the Prince's Cafe was a bit full. I'm going to see if I can get into the Cafe Royal. Oh yes, I'll be able to get in here. Well, I'm full up now, a beautiful day. I'm gonna head home and who knows, if the weather stays, I might even pop down the homestead. So I'll catch up with you next time. So from me until then, bye for now. <laughs>